we are going to calculate the area of R and we're going to do it without a calculator. So this should be fun. Um, so that strange looking graph you see is defined by R equals three minus two sine of two theta. And this nice circular graph is R equals three. So if we want to calculate the area of the region R, you can see that when we start at theta equals zero and continue to go up to pi over two, from zero to pi over two, it will be on this graph, the strange looking graph. So the area of the first piece would be one half, um, we're starting from theta equals zero to up here, pi over two of r squared. And that's that graph. And then after pi over two, the circle takes over. So we could integrate that r, which is r equals three, from pi over two to zero and be fine with it. Or you can just realize that that is a quarter circle. So the green area would be one quarter of the area of a normal circle, pi r squared, but it has a radius of three. So pi times three squared, or just nine fourths pi. So the only part of this problem that we have to use calculus on is this first part. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let me bring this down. Whoa, not that. I'm going to bring this down a little bit so we have some room to do it. And here, normally you would do this with a calculator. Um, but we are going to do it by hand. So, first of all, we're going to have to square this out. So, the one half is going to stay out there while we're doing this. So, square, double, oops, I already messed it up. Square, double. 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 is 12. And then square plus 2 sine 2 theta would be 4 sine squared 2 theta. Now, it's going to be easy to integrate the first two parts of this um, with normal integration. The sine squared is going to be difficult, so we're going to use a power reducing formula. So sine squared theta is one half times one minus cosine two theta. So that will allow us to integrate this because it will change that sine squared to just cosine to the first. Um, by the way, if it were a cosine squared, its power reduction formula is one half times one plus cosine two theta. But we have sine squared, so we're going to use this. So let's apply that right now. right here. So we have sine squared of two theta. This is the formula for sine squared of theta. So when you're doing sine squared of two theta, you just make think of this theta right here as two theta. So that would be one half times one minus cosine of two times two theta, which is four theta. 
So just be careful there, but it's just basically a straight substitution. Um, now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit before I integrate. So we have 9 minus 12 sine of 2 theta plus 2 times all of this, 4 times 1 half. So I'm going to go plus 2 minus 2 cosine of 4 theta. And then the one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine like terms. 9 plus 2 is 11. So hopefully I didn't screw anything up there. Um, when you do it by hand like this, there's a lot of places to screw up. So um, let's do this. The integration should be relatively easy. The integral of 11 with respect to theta is 11 theta. The integral of sine of 2 theta is negative 1 half cosine of 2 theta. So the negative would make this a positive. The 1 half would make it 6 cosine 2 theta. The integral of cosine 4 theta is 1 fourth sine of 4 theta. So this would be negative 1 half sine of 4 theta. So that's the integral. And we're going to plug in 0 to pi over 2. Now this looks like it should work out nicely. Um, because we're going to get a lot of sines and cosines of pi's or multiples of pi, but let's just do it. So 11, we're going to plug in the pi over 2. 11 times pi over 2 is obviously 11 pi over 2. Plus 6 cosine of pi. When you plug in pi over 2, minus 1 half sine of 4 times pi over 2, which is 2 pi. And then minus. Now we're going to plug in 0. So we have 11 times 0 is 0. So 6 cosine of 0 um, minus 1 half sine of 0. So that works out very nicely. Um, so we have 11 pi over 2. Cosine of pi is negative 1, so minus 6. Sine of 2 pi is 0, so that's gone. So we're right here. Minus. Cosine of 0 is 1, so we have minus 6. And sine of 0, that's a 0, right? It looks like a theta, is 0. So it looks like that this looks like this area is negative 12 plus 11 pi over 2. I need to remember that I multiply it by 1 half, so all the way up here. And then that was only the area of the funny shaped thing. Remember we had this plus 9 pi over 4. So when I simplify this, I'm going to obviously multiply the 1 half through because now I'll have a common denominator of the pi over 4s. So I'll have negative 6 plus 11 pi over 4 plus 9 pi over 4, which is negative 6 plus 20 pi over 4, which is 5 pi. Or you can just say this area is 5 pi minus 6. Now, I know that's the correct answer because Chase already told me that is the correct answer. So I'm good. I don't have to do this whole thing over again. And if this is a 35 minute video, so I, I didn't want to have to start over again. So that should be the correct answer. And, uh,
that's it. I hope you enjoyed it.